two, one. Are you ready, Jeremy? I am ready. All right. At least we're, I think I am ready. We're so sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, there was a little bit delay. Um, things just was was just wasn't working right for us today. But things are good now. We're alive. We're good, and we're gonna get started right now. So in this video, we're gonna have a Lumina Four giveaway. Finally, we hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you everyone for your loyal subscription, for watching our videos, for liking our videos, for subscribing. You guys have been amazing. And we're doing this for you guys. So let us know what you want to see more of and we'll do more of that. So today, this video is for you. We want to reward you with a software, Lumina 4, which is one of our favorite software. We've been using it, we've been praising it. We show you how great it is. Now it's your chance to get one free. All you need to do is comment in our YouTube channel. Make sure that once you comment, we show your name on our screen. And as we build this list up, we'll go to the end and we're going to end in about an hour. So at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, mm -hmm. that's when we're going to announce the winner. So make sure you're in this room while we announce the winner. Otherwise, you don't know how to contact us to get the free Lumina 4. So make sure you stay until the end. All right, so we're going to get started right now. Basically, Lumina 4. And here's some eye candy for you. So we're going to give away mm -hmm. Lumina 4. So Jeremy, I'm going to set up something real quick here. Why don't you just tell the audience a little bit about Lumina 4 and what it does. So Lumina 4, it's basically a sec oh, no. I think it's the second generation of the software. Before it's Lumina 3 and then they have Lumina 2018. But this software, Lumina 4, they fine tune it so well that it works both for beginner, amateur, to pro. The reasons for that is it's so easy to use. There's technically there's no learning curve, and ultimately they have the AI engines in there, which help you a lot. Uh, I think eventually we we have time to go into it and kind of demo a little bit, right, David? Absolutely, yeah, totally. Yeah. So like, what what is the best thing that. about the AI engine that uh, kind of surprises you, Jeremy? Like, so there's three major good part with the AI. One, uh, they have the AI sky replacement, which what it does, it, there's no masking for you. Um, the AI itself will help, the software itself will help you look for the edges of the skies and the landscape to help you replace the sky by with one click. I don't know if you ever done, I mean, I know you can't done that, do that in Lightroom, but if you ever try to do that in Photoshop, there's a lot of masking, you know that, right? Even though they have tools for to help you out, but you still have to, you know, get your hands dirty, kind of select area or, you know, kind of fine tune it. But in this software, they literally do it for you automatically. You don't have to think about it. You just play, choose which sky to, relate, to replace with. That's it. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, they have the AI uh, portrait retouch. Two part of that. One is the skin. Um, also, the default of the skin, they will actually help you kind of remove them. I don't know the algorithm, but um, it's just so cool they could find it by themselves. It's just amazing, right? Absolutely. So, no more dotting and burning or, uh, you know, healing tool or, you know, combing tools. And then they also can help you to adjust the portraits such as like enhance the eyes bigger, smaller, uh, face lemurs, uh, dark circle under the eyes. I mean, uh, if you search, uh, I bet you we got YouTube right now. A lot of people search how to remove dark circle in the eye. Well, technically, if you get this software, you don't have to learn. Basically, it's just one slider, left and right. <laughs> That's it. And secondly, um, one really cool thing that nobody really talks about, which eventually I think David will help me make a video and we will do something really cool about it, is the preset and action in Lumina. They call it the Lumina look. Now, what's so good about that, you ask? Yeah, it's in another like saved actions or saved uh, process. But the cool thing is, while all the other software's actions and preset, it's set numbers, meaning that if your sky exposure is 50 and your action is 20 it always about 20 and it add up 70 so sometimes if your sky is not 50 it's 180 and you add 20 on it you get over now yep. the cool thing about the luminous look is that it uses ai calculation so basically every time you apply that new look on different pictures yep. it will help you calculate how much exposure do you need rather than apply on a set number Yep. This is. I don't think it, there's any other software done this before. So this is the cool thing about it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I mean, all that Jeremy says is absolutely true. 
and we love it because this software really just elevates your photography to the next level. Whether you're someone that's starting out as an amateur shooting pictures on your uh, your smartphone, you can <coughs> throw it in this software and it takes your picture to the next level. Or you're a seasoned professional like Jeremy and I, where we shoot weddings and engagement sessions, we can put all of our pictures in the software where we can replace the sky, change the, um, the details of the structures without having to worry about the masking the people, right? Or changing the face element, all that happens automatically with just some sliders because it's the software that does the magic. So check out this video here. This is a quick demonstration of the software and you guys can always check out any of these software if you go to Luminar's website and we'll play this right now. So basically it'll be able to detect structures like this uh, mm -hmm. lighthouse here and then behind it you can add elements or it can detect the sky and you can go through it and change different skies with the click of a button. The cool thing is you actually don't have to spend time masking out anything. Like this is the, all the face detail that we talked about, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's the eyes, the lips, the software picks out the eyes and lips and allows you to make adjustment without you having to mask everything. And if you know anything about Photoshop and masking, it just it's tedious because you have to deal with a layer and then you have to deal with a black and white to determine the mask and unmask area. It's just not intuitive. Whereas this software makes it extremely intuitive and you can do basic things like here, it's like remove people, but just kind of, mm -hmm. it's like an eraser tool. And then once it erases, it's just amazing. So Luminar 4 can do so much, whether you're an amateur, just shooting on your smartphone, or whether you're a seasoned professional, there's a lot of benefit that can take your photography to the next level. And like Jeremy says, this works on, uh, I, I don't think Jeremy didn't mention it yet, but it works as a standalone, which means- Oh yeah only software. Well, yeah, Jeremy, you want to describe this, the standalone and plug in and how that works? Oh, so this software you could be using as a standalone, which comes with a um, browser, like a library mm -hmm. for you to manage your photos with as well. It could become a plug in for Photoshop, Lightroom, and even um, the Apple software photo or just mm -hmm. iPhoto now, but a term. Yeah. So, so yeah, you have all these options here. Like you have Apple photo, Aperture, um, Photoshop and Lightroom. Mm hmm. So like I said, on the learning curve side, if you are used to using Lightroom or Photoshop and you just want to enhance your workflow and you don't want to learn new ones, use it as a plug-in. You know, it's simple as that. And then if you are, well, there's some people that do not like to pay for the subscription from Adobe and you want to buy off a software. Numenor is a software that you can actually just buy off and you own it. You don't have to pay monthly. You don't have to subscribe. You own a software with, what, under, under 100 bucks? So yep. it's a really good deal. Yeah. And we're actually giving one away for free today, right? Yes, ex exactly. That's what the giveaway oh, how is. Did they get, how, how, how did they get it for free again? That's right. Did we talk That's, about that? We should talk about it right now. So this is yeah. the giveaway list. And you know, we're not fancy. We're not high tech. We're just going to enter a name here. When you guys write a comment on our YouTube channel, and if you're not on our YouTube channel, go to youtube.com slash pixelstablish, write in, the, write in the comments and make sure that we see your comment. And when we see your comment, we'll add your name here and like whatever your name is, whether it's David or Jeremy, right? That's us. But once you guys comment, we'll add your name here, uh, your username actually, that way it's unique. And then at the end of this video, which we're going to end around 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to pick one lucky winner. We're going to give them Luminar 4. So just contact us and then we'll pick, out the, we'll pick the winner and that winner will contact us and we'll send them the serial number so they get Luminar 4. And if you don't win, don't worry because it's not an expensive software to begin with. And once you buy it, you can keep it forever. It's not like those subscription where they end over time. So you just buy it once and you have it forever and you can use it whenever you want. So it's right now it's actually not a bad time either because haha, -ha, guess what kind of weekend this is? What special holiday weekend Memorial. are we in? That's right. So we're in Memorial Day weekend. So there's a Memorial Day sale. Make sure you click on the link below. You can buy it on Amazon or if you go to our link down below, which is pixelstablish.com forward slash luminar. That will take you to the Memorial Day sale and that includes a special discount. So once you go here, you'll see the banner and you click buy now. Do, 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 do. And you can see it loads, applies the discount. That's the best part, right? You get extra savings. Applying and the discount. Yes. So if we're going if you, if you win the Luminar 4 giveaway, unfortunately you don't get the, the super special promotion that they have right now, right? So right now with the promotion, you get two sky packs in addition to Luminar 4. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a really good deal 
um, right now, like this Memorial Day is probably the best deal I've seen ever because I think last time there was an Easter sale, right? We were crazy going nuts about it, but that only included one sky pack. This one includes two sky packs. So you're getting Lumina 4, you're getting a burst of drama sky pack, and you get the Capture Your Wonderlust sky pack for included. So normally these mm -hmm. two sky packs are like around 50 bucks for both of them but you get both sky packs and lumina 4 for only 79 dollars right and you just click buy $10 now. now yeah and we have a special promotion code that normally you enter in it's called pixel stabbers that should take up another ten dollars however i don't know if it's going to work to be honest because this discount is actually really good i would be very surprised if it works so let's just try pixel stabbers Dang it! It doesn't work, Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy, it doesn't well, work. Maybe if you miss, if you watch this video later and That's after true. the memorial sale, use that coupon code. It will definitely save you the ten bucks. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, you know, p the cool thing about Lumina Four is you always have the thirty-day money-back guarantee. So you know, if it doesn't work out or you don't like it, just remember there's thirty-day money-back guarantee. It says so right at the bottom, and you always get twenty-four-seven support to take care of you. And it's a really, really great software. Let's just, let us demonstrate a little bit more about what this software can do. So let's just expand more to learn more. So, I mean, this this is so fun to browse their website, right, Jeremy? They have like so much content. We can just go down here and look at it a little bit. And after we go through this a little bit, we're going to have Jeremy do a live demo for you. So you can see mm -hmm. exactly how it works. And we're going to use it as what, a Photoshop plugin today or are we going to use it as a standalone? Uh, I always use it as a Photoshop plugin. <laughs> cool. The, the cool thing about using it as a Photoshop plugin, if you think about it, is that you don't need to change your workflow. You do what you do mm -hmm. normally. Then when you say, okay, Let's spice up a little bit. Let's get some Luminar into this workflow. You just enter, you just launch the plugin and it pulls in your current layer that you're working on in Photoshop and then fires up Luminar. Do whatever you want with Luminar. When you say, okay, save, pulls it, your result back into Photoshop as a new layer. So then that new layer, you can apply opacity, you can mask it, you can do whatever you want. It's a whole different layer. So that's how you use it in your current workflow in Photoshop or similar in your current workflow if you're using Lightroom or if you're using Aperture or if you're using iPhoto, right? That's how you would mm -hmm. use it if you are using it in your current workflow. Or if you don't have a current workflow and you just wanna get started as your first and your only photo editor, you can use it as a standalone. So again, Jeremy's gonna talk I to never, you about I never that. got a workflow. <laughs> You're a unique character, Jeremy. You're an artist what people would say, right? You just do everything the way you want to do it and it's unique every time, which makes it special because you can't really you can't really reproduce your work. If I say, hey Jeremy, can you edit that I'm picture different. exactly I mean, the I same think way? I'm very different than most people. I think I went to someone else workshop once and yeah. they they kinda of talk about they will talk about post processing, but then I would say sixty percent of the class he talks about photo management and Workflow. I was like, mm -hmm. where's the creativity? Where is the creativity? <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, I actually exactly. got an argument with someone like that. Like, hey man, doing <laughs> workflow is it's not post processing. That just that that's not it. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone's got their style. I mean, sometimes uh, people really treat photography as a business, right? So that's to them, they just need to get things done, and there's no creativity. It, in it's it. a dilemma. I mean, they yeah. treat it as a business, and they ask, mm -hmm. how come people don't treat it as actors? Well, because you treat it as a business. How can people treat exactly. it as an artist? Yes, exactly. Let me actually bring up the giveaway here. Let me see if I can move this over to the side here. Yeah, this is cool. So today we're going to use this area. Normally where we have our pixel stabber icon, we're just mm. going to put our... Um, the list. Yes, the giveaway list. So right here, we're going to minimize this a little bit. Right the corner here. Yes. The giveaway name list and then just for today we're gonna hide our pixel stabber icon so we got the giveaway list so mm -hmm. guys comment below if you're interested in the giveaway well what just happened here i don't know i missed it go. what happened no, no, nothing happened <laughs> <laughs> yep so comment in below comment in below down in below on youtube to get this free giveaway so we're gonna give away one full copy of luminar 4 at 11 p.m today 
which is in 45 minutes. So make sure you fill out this list. Right now, there's actually no one. So because we're live streaming so late at night, probably a lot of people are asleep. In yeah, the East yeah. Coast right now, it's like 1 a.m. So West Coast, if you're awake, this is your advantage. Yeah. Like there's no <laughs> one here, like literally. Jeremy, if no one actually comes and watches, we should go on Facebook and tell people or Amazon Live. Come on, guys! This is your opportunity to get free Luminar Four. This is like a you know, it, it's our fault. We we've been playing around the whole day. We just started this late, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if if by the end of the day and we don't have enough people, we will just do another giveaway. Yes, somehow that's in right. phase. Yeah, we'll see how bad. We how that is. That, but that's right. You, you come back watch the Wiz Widow because we have a lot of contents and we'll do demos, so it'll be fun. It will be fun. Yes, I love I love your attitude, Jeremy. That's what, that's what Pizza Stabber is all about, right? We have fun, we share knowledge, and we hope that we can uh, get people to give us their feedback, so we know that what we're providing is bringing value to them. Because ultimately, we're here for them. So if they like mm -hmm. the stuff, it's a win win for everybody. So let's just watch this cool trailer to see how they replace the sky instantly. Like this, this is one of the most common and most known feature of Lumina 4. And it's one just, of the hardest skill to do when it comes to post processing when you replace the sky and they just yes. make it so simple. <laughs> yeah, they really they they make it look so amazing. So basically, you put a picture in and it can detect the sky. From everything else, and you just replace that component. So simple, so quick. That video is so mm -hmm. fast. You're like, I mean, there's really not much to show. That's why the video is so quick because I know, you load just... in the sky, <laughs> and you literally just select what sky you want because you don't even need to pick your sky. It just it does it for you. <laughs> I know. Like, I think when when I first part with Luminar, they asked me, "Hey, can you do some tutorial with yeah. um, you know, the sky replacement?" I say, uh, let me play around with it, huh? What is there to show? It's one <laughs> click. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like, just buy the software and click it. That's it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and you know, but sky replacement isn't the only thing. It can also make skin correction mm -hmm. really well too, right? It analyzes the face structure of all your people. And with just a slider, look at that. You just slide it and it'll pick up the defects and it'll adjust yep. accordingly. Uh, it'll pick up the eyes, it'll pick up the, the mouth, it can whiten teeth, change the mm -hmm. smile, change the, the eyebrows or the, the redness in the eye. It does everything. It removes defects, dark circles here, lip redness, just sliding stuff, right? That's the coolest mm -hmm. part is you don't need to spend time to mask things or tell the software, this is the eye, this is uh, the, the lips, right? It knows where it is. In fact, it even knows the people from the structure. And that's the AI part. And that's what's so great about this software, right? We've been having a lot of software over the years as computers enhance photographers' ability to edit photos. I mean, it's been happening for the last 20 years, right? That's how digital photos is so much better than film photo. Well, not better in film photo, but it's so more advanced than film photo in that you take it to the computer and you can edit things. But up to this point, it's always been a manual process. You take the picture in Photoshop or you pick it into Lightroom and then you adjust pixel per pixel, whatever you want to do. Now we have AI and that's the ability for the computer to assist and do all the grunt work for you. They'll do all the masking so you have time to do the creative work. And just you know, sliders. I have been on um, Photoshop um, and post processing mm -hmm. educator for a couple of years now. Right. And honestly, I talked to a lot of students and people that want to get in and didn't get in because they are intimidated about um, post processing. They feel like it's not for them. It's hard. They don't know where to start. It's all due to the fact that um, oh hey, we have a comment. Yeah, we Sorry. got Calvin Lee, our first contestant. We got you on your list, Calvin. Calvin Lee. Got it, Calvin. Yes. So Calvin, stay until the end of this video. We're gonna stream until 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is like another 40 minutes. So hang around. There's a very good chance you'll actually win. Um, right now, you're the only person. So by default, if no one else signs up, you're the winner. <laughs> you and you're gonna own Luminar 4 for the rest of your life, totally free, and it's all on us. But oh, you know what? I'm gonna do demo, do demo on the uh, beauty retouching, so you see how that works out. And honestly, it's very simple. It's super simple. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, Kevin. Yeah. Stay tuned. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll leave your comment down here. Thank you. And okay, as, yeah. As I was saying, yes. um, so um, 
up till I met with Skylum, which is new money for company, and yep. you know, start playing with the software. And I think I, after talking to all my students, I realized one thing: um, what Adobe did with the Photoshop basically is too intimidated, too hardcore. Yeah, they pack, I mean, it is a leading software in this industry, but to a lot of people, they just got into the game. It's just like oh, I don't know how to do this. You know, this is so confusing and then they got the Lightroom yes it's dumbed down but at the same time they take away a lot of things right layer is not there uh, a lot of features filters in Photoshop is not there so you can only do so much which in my book if you are a software for a photography industry a creative industry and you take away all that and limited your uh, um, users to only certain amount of functions you're not really giving the full vote and what Lumina 4 did, um, when we actually call it AI, AI, yes, it is AI-ish. But what it does, if you look at the skin retouching part, okay? Now, how the heck did they retain the skin um, texture? Because they actually have all that Photoshop uh, functions in there, such as uh, sequences, sequences separations and the high pass, all that. It's all in the background of it. They're not giving you the function on it because you don't need to know it. But they put it into the portrait enhancer so that you could able to use those functions, but you don't have to learn it because all you have to learn is, okay, do I want the eye to be more white? Do all do I want to remove the dark circle or how how smooth I want my skin is? That's what you need to do. So they take away all the hard shift and give you all the function. Unlike what Lightroom did, basically they took away and never give back to you. <laughs> so this is the cool thing about Lumina 4. Yeah, and everything that Jeremy says makes it's all true, but there's one thing on top of that that takes it to another level in that you can apply all that in one photo, right? And it saves all that as a look. Oh. Now, once you have that look, you can apply it in batch to other pictures in that same folder and it will, the software will use AI to go back in the picture and make your enhancement on top of the pictures, but based on AI technology. In other words, it's not going to use like presets and re-edit the pictures based on a previous preset. It will actually go in there and use all the AI knowledge to reanalyze all the pictures individually, but adjust them towards your taste that you define for the first portrait and you save it as a look. So imagine exactly. that, yeah. Exactly. So imagine you can use all the powerful features to make one photo like you see on the screen before and after, right? And that only takes a few minutes, but if you have a thousand pictures from a, a wedding event or an engagement session, well, that's a thousand minutes and that adds up a lot, right? But you can do it one time and apply it as a batch to all your other pictures. And that's just mind blowing times two, right? What Jeremy <laughs> says, and then now you can batch it. It's like, <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely going to show you cool uh, a demonstration of that. And I think, I think there's, um, yeah, here's more about the skin enhancement. Can you see the before? Mm -hmm. Can we do the? Yeah, we can do the before and after. Like this stuff is so amazing. Can we even click here? No, it doesn't let us click. But no. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But the, the before and after, you see, it makes this. There's it does so many things. It makes the skin smoother, but also like right here, you can see some of the the defects. Her pimples, they take it away, and. You don't even need to sp spend time like doing clones or stamping. You see that check mark right here? It says AI skin defect removal. You just click on it. One check and mark. And then tell them how much. And then the slider. <laughs> yeah, the slider will tell What's you how much. Platform? And the cool thing is, the slider is very tame. In that even if you go to 100%, it might look a little bit over the top. But if you go back to like 90%, it is all you need for a really good tasteful edit. And it's sometimes when we're, we're editing, it's easy to like make someone look too perfect and then they start looking mm -hmm. plasticky. But at 100%, they're just at the, the, the cusp of being non-realistic. They just dial it back just a tad and you're good. So very easy, one check mark, one slider for all the functionalities that you need. For defect, that's all you do, right? AI yep. technology takes care of everything. And I think, yeah, and also like this feature too, right? This is new in the 4.2, they just added this, right? Jeremy, the shine you know? removal, yeah. Uh, that only really apply if you're using like in Studio and Flash that, you know, mm -hmm. have those shine. Mm -hmm. It help you kind of um, even it out. Uh, I don't use that much because I do a lot of natural light. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
but you do natural light, but except when you're indoors, you have no choice. Like if it's a reception hall yeah. or a night, and you have to use a softbox or whatever light source. Even, yeah, you, you nat whatever light source you use indoor, you're gonna have shiny skin. And if you're some, well, some weed is strong reflection either way. Yes. Yeah. So check this out. This is this is the before and after of it. Look at that. Look how much look how much shine there is. And then right after it, you just clear it away. Even in a dark area, you see it took care of it. Oh, you moving it or is it a video? No, I'm I'm moving it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so there's actually two things it does, right? If you it's if you look the face too. Yes, it's it slimmed the face. Like if you look at the before and after, it's pretty dramatic. But if you mm -hmm. only have the after and you look at it, you're like, wow, that's really beautiful. So again, it it lets you do it very tastefully. It won't let you do it over the edge. So don't worry. You can play around with it and control it with sliders. And look at the results. They've done a lot with the eyes too. They brighten up oh, the eyes. Oh, they removed the dark circle? Mm-hmm. I think they also did the skin. Um, the Yeah, the skin we're touching as well too. So it's, it has everything in it. Yeah. They, but ultimately, they removed the shine and slimmed the face. That's for sure. Yeah. And they did a good job. I mean, mm -hmm. this model looks great, but after you apply these effects, now she's cover magazine ready, right? Yep. This is perfect. And again, you can do this in one picture, save it as a, a look, and apply it to the rest of the pictures in that folder, and it'll take care of the rest of the pictures. So you can spend time to perfect one, and that time to perfect one, it's only a few minutes, because again, you're just dealing with sliders. Yeah. That's the cool thing about this. I don't even use my pen anymore. I just keep using my mouse. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Wow, here's, here's another one. This is uh. Wow, what, what does this one do? Um, lighting. Okay, so here, this is this is a great example. See, now this is this this effect the before and after. Guess how much time they spent to get this result? Two minutes. Exactly, and look at the tools they use. They use five tools. AI skin enhancer, which we talked about. They mm -hmm. use the face light, which we haven't talked which, about, but that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Yeah. It, it you, you you just it knows where the face is. So by by sliding a slider called face light, it will brighten or darken the face. And no, it's use, brighten. It's always brighten. Oh there's yeah. Darken. <laughs> there's no there's no darken. No, oh, it's not dodge and burn. Dodge and burn is darken, but this is face okay, light. We just lead so, out the yeah, face. Yeah, face light. And then there's dark circle removal. So like if you look under her eyes. Oh my mm -hmm. god, that is a big deal. Like it just makes her look so brightened up after this this dark circle removal, right? And then you get the eye enhancer. So you see the extra catch light they added to her eyes, and also the whites in her eyes are more vibrant or, or mm -hmm. more white. More bright. Yeah. So that's the eye enhancer. Oh, and I forgot the lips. We didn't even look at the lips. Yeah. So the the before lips. lips saturation. Yes. And then the after lips. Just more liveliness, more pop. So it's it's funny that Calvin actually asked about portrait enhancement because recently Luminar website just got re re uh, facelifted. <laughs> no pun intended, right? But they re nope. they redesigned their website to for to focus more on portrait enhancements because I I remember this stuff used to be buried at the bottom. They used to focus a lot on sky replacement. But now they realize that there's so much more to Luminar to show off. And that the portrait enhancement is something that a lot of professionals look and use too. So again, this one, 50 seconds. And again, using the same things that we talked about, skin replace, uh, AI You know the enhancer. time thing is not yeah. well known because it, it depends how experienced you with the software. I could do it in 10 seconds if you talk about this. Exactly. <laughs> right? It's just, it's just five, six sliders, right? You got the yeah. AI skin enhancer, face light, dark circle removal. There's, this one uses the teeth whitening, right? We, and then mm -hmm. face slimming. Uh, the teeth whitening is nice. And then uh, removal of blemish. Again, yeah. Really quick. The point is, they want, they want to illustrate that it's fast. Mm -hmm. right? Again, here, another one. And it works in all different kinds of situations. Wow, the dark circle removal. Oh my gosh. I know. That, okay, that's actually kind of scary that it can do that. And again, you don't need to mask anything. You just load up the picture 
and you literally pick the slider and you slide it. You and can it literally will move. demolish it. I have not seen for the whole week. I have this last circle. Don't worry, we will move that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary that our software can do that now. And of course, it works on male model as well as female model. This, 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 this picture got all the features applied to them. AI skin yep. enhancer, eye enhancer, eye whitening, removal ble remove blemishes, face light, dark circle removal, teeth whitening. It's got the works. I think this software right here, just this function, it, it works great for um, headshot photographers. Yeah. Because totally I know a lot of headshot photographers, they basically outsource their um, retouching. That's crazy. Yeah. I would too. If I don't have the software, I literally would. Because like to get this effect in Photoshop, think about it. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. We're, we're saying it takes one minute and we're saying, oh yeah, just click this, slide this. That's because you have Luminar 4. And then I asked a friend um, how much they pay per photo. Guess how much? 50 bucks. Yes. How do you know that? It's a good guess. Did I tell you that before? No. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you, you basically paid two of those. You got a software that you could do it in 20 seconds already. Yeah, and 50 bucks is just the raw cost of your friend, right? Because then she can resell it to the client for like $200. Headshots are Headshot very important, touch. right? But the retouching part is 50 bucks per photo. Yeah. When he, when he outsourced that. So, yep. after that, ooh, what happens if you have your own software? It's free. Hit this. Yeah. This is cool. See, he should join in here and get a free software that he save a lot of money. Well, <laughs> let's not tell anyone else because Calvin might be the one that's getting it, right? So, Calvin, to your advantage, since you're the only one that has commented so far, you're number one on the list, and we're at 10.30. So in the next 30 minutes, if no one else comments, the software is yours, Calvin. So stick around, <laughs> make sure you're here at the end of the stream, which is the next 30 minutes, and it's yours. We want to give the software away to at least one person, and now we have one person in the stream, so <laughs> let's see who wins. And we, I, if I'm taking a bet, I would bet it's Calvin. We'll see because it's late at night. There's not a lot of people joining the stream. Like all East Coast is probably asleep right now, and most of the people on the West Coast are probably zoning out right now. But we'll see. We'll see. So also, the the cool thing that I didn't realize it works on all different ages too. Just no. like, right? Amazing. So for so, so someone that's young to someone that is uh, mature and ages, look at that. Mm -hmm. the, the, the before and after, it's just so good. It's not too over. That's the that's the thing. I saw they, they have the other like portraiture we touch software before, and then yeah. if you don't know when to stop, <laughs> it's actually like this. They could turn someone into plastic door or something. Yeah. So, seen that been done before. Absolutely, and it's very easy to do that. There, here's a quick one where they actually go over it in action. Oh wow. Let's just skip through this real quick. Yeah, actually we're gonna actually do that in person. So yeah. We, we need to watch that. So like another thing that it can do is like it can embed objects. Like this spaceship obviously mm -hmm. wasn't there to begin with, but the software will render out the building part and the bridge and it says, okay, this is a sky part. And then all you do is you pick what object you want to put in and it just puts it in. It does all the masking for you. Like you see how this building is um, down here and the smoke doesn't cover the building? Yep, that's what the software does. It knows what part is building and what part mm -hmm. it can put behind it to create whatever object you want to in. I think that's New York picture. right there, right? Imagine the space shuttle is actually flying out from New York. That's going to be chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what this video shows. Oh yeah, this is this is another scene from New York too. It breaks the limits. Create a whole new world in one click. That, that's the sky replacement. You see that one click? Look at that. They mm -hmm. added the moon. They added the elephant, and they use AI again. Remember, AI is content aware. It knows what part is the sky, right? It knows what structure. So it frames around and says, "Okay, this is sky." Then it lets you put your object and dial it in, like how much of the object, how much warmth to make the object. And there's also relighting too, right? Because you want your mm -hmm. scene to be believable. Like you can put an amazing sky, but if the rest of your shot, even though it's masked out perfectly, if it doesn't have like the same lighting to it, like your sky is orange, but the, before the sky was like, uh, say it was overcast, then your people might be a little bit blue. But what the software does is, okay, it knows that you, 
you pick the orange sky, what the relight will do, it would relight the rest of your scene to have a little orange so that it flows with the sky. It would match the skies. For sure. Yeah, so there's that. And Jeremy, you always explain this really well. So these two are the AI features, right? So how, how does mm -hmm. this work? Like, what is the technology that goes behind this? Like, taking a picture and how these two sliders work? Well, try, um, can you apply the AI accents first? Yep. Now turn it off. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now, now you see how this picture is taken directly from the camera, obviously, once one exposure. So if you want to retain the sky, then you mean your foreground will be kind of dark because it's against the sun. So if you turn on the AI accent now, oops. you see how it's, oops, it basically we like the darkened scene while the ski, the sky had not been got to overexplore, maybe a slightly little bit, but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But then the darkened scene in the front ground, it basically become like two exposure picture right here by yeah. using, because the AI know, oh wait, okay, let me, let me see. Oh, it's kind of dark in the foreground. Let's brighten that up. By how much? We just do the, all his calculations and say, okay, it looks perfect. It looks like, because um, if you are actually in that scene right now using your eyes, your human eyes, look at it, you will see this. But the camera cannot. The camera can only have what, F16, maximum F22. Well, right? it's also dynamic and range, right? It's just that stops the dynamic our, range. Our human eyes dynamic range is much, much far more superior than a camera. So they can see that, but in pose, we could get this back. Yep. And AI for Numenor for somehow they got an algorithm and they know how to get this back, which is in one click. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing. And then you can also have, once, once you apply the accent enhancement, right? Like Jeremy says, that enhances the, the car, right? Because before you see the sky is nice and bright, but the, sky is, the car is dark. So now this one mm -hmm. enhances this, 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 the car only. Now say, okay, so now what, what if I wanted to enhance the sky a little bit more, right, Jeremy? Then just click on it. <laughs> and there you go. And it enhances the sky. Again, it's all AI because it's masked out for you, right? The AI already kind of identified which is the sky, which is the foreground. So you can see that when they apply the AI enhance, uh, sky enhancer, it doesn't really affect the car either. Only yep. the skies. So they know where to stop. Yeah, absolutely. And here's some before and after too. Just all this stuff. Like this is this is this one is enhancing the structures. Yeah. And at the same and time. And the contrast, structure and contrast, pretty much. Yep. And and they also enhance the the people. But if you use the AI structure, it won't touch the people. This is actually look, a bad look, example. Look at the skin tone. Look at the skin tone. Yeah, the skin tone is preserved. But it, I think this is a bad example because they actually manipulate the skin a little bit in this photo. Yeah, because their skin tend to more like wet and dark side and it's kind of matching the rock. So that might have, you know, pick up the one color too. Ah, uh, yeah. You never know. Yeah. Anyway, let's actually do a quick demo. Jeremy, are you interested yeah. in dem demoing something yes. for us? Let so, me see how do I share my screen. Sure. Let me there. know when you're ready to share your screen. I just shared my screen. So let me uh, know if you see my screen. I will pull it up right now so everyone can see your screen. All right, so we can see your screen now. All right, go ahead and demo away. So uh, okay, this is Photoshop, so, uh, right? It is in Photoshop. So I got this picture here. Right. Um, so let's go to, so when you wait, use wait. Luminof, what? Layer, layer, layer. Oh, good point. Sorry. <laughs> so what, 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 what did you just do right there? So explain what you just did. This is not a Photoshop tutorial video, but I'll tell you anyway. So, <laughs> um, so I based on duplicate layer here. So there's two ways to do it. Either, so I have a background here, which is this image. I could either drag it onto the pus and get the extra layer, which is the same thing, like Ooh, a duplicate layer. I never knew that trick. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Or I could put just put Control J and it will automatically duplicate the layer that was selected. Yeah, or Command so J if you're an do. app. Command J or Command J, yeah. So this case, I would never base will ruin the background image. I will just work on this one, so it's non-destructive. Yep. Okay. Ooh. So we have one more uh, new person. So Claudia, thanks for your comment. Uh, we're gonna put your name on the list here. 
So Claudia, if you stick around the video until the end of the, the stream, which is in another 20 minutes, we're gonna do a giveaway for one person to get Luminar 4. So right now, there's only two people that have entered the giveaway. There's Calvin and there's you, Claudia, on Amazon Live. So stick tight and the chances of you guys winning is a 50-50 chance. So in only <laughs> 20 minutes, there's gonna be one winner. So hang tight. And Claudia, if, uh, since you're on Amazon Live, don't forget to check us out on YouTube. We're on youtube.com slash pixelstabbers. So go over there now if you want. You can enter a comment there as, if you like to. That way we can show your comment on the screen. But nonetheless, don't worry. Your name is on the list right here. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because we want to make sure we can contact you to get the prize. If we can't contact you at the end of this video, unfortunately, we have to draw the name again. So again, Claudia, mm -hmm. Calvin, you guys are the two entries. Stay until the end of the video. We're going to be done in about 20 minutes. Jeremy is doing a demo right now, a live demo from start to finish, so you can see mm -hmm. exactly how it works. So go ahead, Jeremy. Okay, so uh, for this picture here, it's a gloomy day, you can tell. So basically, there's no sky. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect sample to showcase, like, why is this software look good? So let's zoom in here. Look at the trees, right? Try to mask those out. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay, so here we go. Um, okay, so I duplicate a layer here already. So to work with Numina 4 in Photoshop, as a plugin, all I have to do is go to Filter and go down to... Skylum software, Numina mm -hmm. 4. Yep. Click on it, and yep. it will just open as like a separate software within uh, basically dragging that that layer from what I just created into Numina 4 and work on it as like a standalone software itself, like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm in Numina way now. So uh, just for the heck, the first thing we do, go into creative. It is So we have four tab here, and the AI sky replacement is under creative. So Click on that. Mm -hmm. Basically, you don't have to do anything. Go into Sky Selection. It has all built in Sky here. Yep. Okay. Or you could go to um, the Sky on website down on New Sky. Or if you have your own pictures like I did here on Sky, you could upload your own Sky as for use. So right. in this and, case. And right now, if you buy Luminar 4 because it's a mm -hmm. Memorial Day, they include two oh, yeah, Sky packs too. So that's pretty cool too. Yes. Just just want to show that screen really quick again. If you go here to uh, Luminar 4, actually it, the, the website is pixelstabbers.com slash Luminar. You go there, you click buy now, and it, it loads up and it'll apply the discount because you use our link, which is pixelstabbers.com slash Luminar. pixelstabbers.com slash Luminar, and you see here, you get two sky packs, a $25 one, Burst of Drama, and Wonderluster, uh, sky pack for another nineteen dollars. All of that for seventy nine dollars right now. Um, the Memorial Day sale. And again, Jeremy mm -hmm. was just explaining that you can use the sky from these pa these added packages. Or if you just buy Lumina Four, you also get a bunch of skies already as well. And of mm -hmm. course, you can this is all built in sky. Yep. So let me show your so, screen again, Jeremy. Just, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. One click. Look at that. that! Wait, wait, you gotta, gotta undo that. Sorry, I wasn't sharing your screen before you clicked. That. Look at that! Look, right. look, 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 look! Again, one click. One click. Boom! You can That's just change good. the different sky if you want. Right. That's amazing. Look, look, okay. See what yes. I showed you before, all trees? Yes. Look at that. They all got masked out. <laughs> Try to That's do that in so good. <laughs> this feature alone is worth the software times five. I mean, sometimes like say you have the perfect picture with all this masking and you just want to fix one picture. I can easily spend like the whole day to get this perfect. Okay, and okay. For here, look client, closely here. See, yeah. this is before, right? That's after. You see how it class a little blue class onto yes. the, the building? It's just to help match the skies. Makes now, it more believable. Now, if, what if I change it to like a sunset picture? Let's look, take a look. Wow, oh. it even has a reflection of the sun. Wait, no, check that sunset was amazing. Did you see the reflection on the building of the sunset? Yeah. Okay, you see how the sunset also has a little yellow ish yes. right here? Yeah. Now, if you go to advance here, let's say the yep. sky is not. Yep. You can always like flip the sky the other way if you want. Yep. yep. Uh, let's pick this much more 
colorful sky and see. Ooh. Okay. Wow, that's so dramatic. Let's do a uh, play around with this. You could basically control the realizing. You see how you want to darken? You can yep. if you wanted to, but you know it really depends on your taste. And yep. then um, at some cases you say like this here. Ah, this is a kind of a glitch right here. Yeah, it's a glitch, but you can always fix that. That's why you have this close gap and sky global. Uh huh. Okay, you play around with this. See? Yep. That basically is too much, obviously. <laughs> yep. Just play around with that. You'll find a way to. Well, is it there before? No. It has to be the nature of the sky sometimes. So yeah. it really depends. Okay. Oh, that's why. Because the sun was landing on there. That's why. Now you see it. Oh. This makes more sense. Because if the sun's behind it and try to come up because it's a bright area, but yeah. you see how the sun, I flipped this. That's why they give you the fifth sky. Because, yeah. you know, when you take a picture of this, the sun should, probably should be on this side anyway, right? So <laughs> yeah. And now you, you can tell that, you know, the, the, uh, the shadow casting on it. The, the, that? The, yeah, that's so believable. Oh my gosh. That's right? so cool. Like I wouldn't even think about doing that myself. But this thing did it for you. And what if I go to an another one? I mean, that's something crazy that like you could do a line type review. Right, like this one doesn't have the sun. And you can see right away, it doesn't have the reflection on the building. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. very cool. One well, like pretty much. See yeah. that, again, the sun's right there. So you yeah. flipped it. Oh. Yeah. I think this one partially because the original photo, this one, the sky has some reflection on the building so much it does. because it was an so overcast sky it, and the yeah, building kind of had this color. It. That's, yeah. Okay, so here's a cool thing. Um, so up here, you can tell basically mm -hmm. you want to control the sky and relay the scene. Yep. Down here, at the uh, atmospheric haze, yep. you see how I got light in the sky, yep. change it. And then also change the temperature of the sky as well, mm -hmm. as well as exposure. So you got two ways to play around with this. Basically, either don't change the sky at all, or adjust the relight the scene to adjust the foreground to match the sky, or do both. It will make the whole thing looks much more beautiful. Look at it right now. Yeah, it's like that did I really replace the sky, or is it capture like in camera, right? Yes, that looks fantastic. And then once basic luminar able to detect where the sky is, if you want to play around with this, for example, I want to add some birds. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> what? That's so cool. Totally believable. Like if you told me that those birds were there, I would 100% believe you because that looks so natural. So probably we light a little bit, I'm on, kind of tune it down, mm -hmm. give it a little bit warmness. That looks beautiful. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Really well Or integrated. if you want to go something crazy, let's try a mountain and see how it works. Look at that. <laughs> what? That looks cool too. No, nah, that's not that looks too uh, much. Like the water should be frozen if it's that cold. And the, the the snow is that close. Or you just want to get some lengths in what? there. <laughs> Yeah. You can move it around. You can move it I around. Mean, if you yeah, want. but it ruins the mood a little bit, right? Because you have a boat, you have some old classic building. I know airplanes oh, just exist crazy. everywhere. There. What? No, I that looks realistic. That looks totally realistic. <laughs> yeah. Too big. So you can again, size this object. Again, yeah. um, you go to advanced setting. I believe you can. Yeah, you get load your custom image. So you have a PNI like uh, with, mm -hmm. with object has no background. Yep. Upload it there and then just you could do your composite here. Yes. In Numina. Yep. Okay. Right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but we don't need that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no giraffe. And oh that's no sun here, so it's no no well, you know, there's no point here. Uh personally I love these tools. Matt look. Yep. You see how it basically turned the black into more matte black? So mm -hmm. it gives it like a vintage look, and all yes. you want to fade it as well as you want it. So after this is what I always do. After you basically play around with the sky, you want to tune the color a bit to match the sky and the foreground. So that way, you know the whole thing looks more, much more believable. Mm -hmm. So let me go back to the original, which is you know what? Here's the AI essence. 
let's see what AISM think after I did like a Sky with Hageman and see. Oh, they want to bring up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Maybe so I will do is, that. This is like the automatic, like it thinks for you, right? It, 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 it says, okay, this is what I think, or this is what the so, AI thinks is a good So this hint. is exactly what, you know, the sample that we did on the website, you yeah. know, is kind of dark in the, well, underexposed a little bit in the foreground. So mm -hmm. the AI says, okay, let's bring it up. And also on the AI Sky Enhancer here, you see how it just basically enhances the sky, not in the front, right? Just like that. So if you want something more colorful, you could do that. I probably don't want that in this picture. So I keep it like that, all right? Um, but I will go to light here. I will warm the picture up by adding a little bit more temperatures because it is a sunset hour, right? Mm -hmm. And lower exposure. And I like the smart contrast because it. I play with other contrasts in other software. They go really crazy. But this one, it had this mild tone, but at the same time, it helped get the contrast up, but not like really make it like dark, dark. Mm -hmm. I love these functions. Okay, I like that, right? Uh huh. Hmm. What else should I do? I don't know. I mean, every time, every single time, once I replace this guy, the whole picture looks way better already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Okay, so I know we did like green there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is basically go here. That's too much. Turn it down. So I can change the greens in the picture by using the landscape enhancer and using photo enhancer here. See just the greens. I could, you, know, you know what? A little bit more yellow because the, the water is also green. I, I like that. Okay, that's not too bad, right? So let's look at before and after. Whoa. Ve wow. That's just mind-blowingly good. The before and after, just incredible. There is no masking whatsoever. Basically, yeah. it's all slider, and you just look at the stuff that you favorable to you and just do it. <laughs> yes. I mean, this software, like the price it is at right now, especially with the memorial discount, even with the without the more wallet discount, it's still under hundred dollars, and it's a one-time payment. You can keep it for as long as you want, use it for as long as you want. And Luminar is continually updating this. I think they released this earlier on uh, last late last year at Luminar four. Now we're at Luminar four point two, enhancing the features and adding functionality, and it's still included in the upgrade too. So definitely see how it basically get a extra layer on top of my original layer. That's it. This looks so, so good. If I think too much, I could always like lower the capacity of this and you know yes. kind of tune it down. So that's yes. a lot of option I could play with within yes. Photoshop. So um, you know, let me close this. That's the sky replacement. Mm -hmm. How about let's play some portrait we put? Shall we? Absolutely. I know Calvin right. earlier was asking about that. So yeah, let's show Calvin so, how the portrait attachment works. So new layer. Did you add a new layer? Nah, forget nah, about you it. You don't need to, right? Because if you yeah, if you want to just work directly on the background, you mm -hmm. could, and that's essentially what we're doing. So you don't have the flexibility to change the opacity of this layer versus the background layer, but you're fine. All right, so let's do closing here. Let's go to okay. So it's pretty obvious. Look at that happy face. Yep. That's portrait, right? Yeah, <laughs> right there. Happy face. It's a portrait. Okay. You can't so have a serious portrait, right? On AI skin <laughs> defect removal. Click on it, right? And JHBC big city just draw. You see how basically we move all those pimples. One click. One, One click. Freaking click. Now if I go all the way, it's more smooth. But yeah, I'm at like 74 right here. Yeah. You see? Yeah. But if you look closely, see all the skin texture. It's it didn't there. get removed. Which is good. Because but, like yeah. You see, it retain all the skin textures, unlike some of the other software. Basically, just remove everything. Makes it right. look like rubber, plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not much shine on her, but let's try. It. I, hey, it does a little bit. It basically got her a little bit more matte mm -hmm. on the nose part, so mm -hmm. that's okay. All right, and okay, here we can play with the face light because. This is like a natural light portrait from indoor using a window light, so there's some which is not too bright on the face. Mm -hmm. See if we can bring that up. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. That looks really good. Wow, the face light, it, it's nice. Yeah, normally if you want to use, you want to lighten the face in like in camera, you actually have to have like a light on her. But at the same time, you don't want to light the rest of her body. So you have to use like a grid or a snoot to really control the light only on her face to get mm -hmm. that pop and it draws your eyes to the And I face. wish I had this software when I was shooting this session for this um, salon. <laughs> It's like that took me a lot of time to touch, to be honest. But look at this. Yeah. Uh, okay, on eye hands, or okay, it really depends on your taste. You could go really crazy like this. Yep. Or I just go mild. Just little enhance. I think that's good enough for me right there. Look mm -hmm. at the eyes. That's, and now, do I share? She might have a dark circle, right? No, not a. All right. She got a skinny face, but let's see how do skinny face 2.0 does. You can make her skinny if you want. But I think her, skin, her face is good enough, so I'm not going to touch it. But mm -hmm. just in case if, you know, using a different focal length to, you know, photograph and then you want to skinnier, that works. And eye enhancer, uh, no, sorry, enlarger. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Again, no masking. Boom, her eyes are bigger. That's so cool. And then also improve the eyebrows. Yep. Um, it's pretty dark already, so there's not yeah. much it improves. You're right. But I think oh. we could do some lip saturation. Look at that. Yeah. And the wetness of just attack. Oh yeah, that's it good. Bit. Yeah. I think that that looks really good because her lips didn't have to pop before. So here's the before. Woo. Here's the after. So Amazing. Kevin, if you're still here, I hope you like this. This is. Look at that. That's for you, Calvin. Look at that. Again, you apply this to one picture, now you can save this as a look and then you can apply it to the rest of the pictures you have in a folder of this particular person and it apply the same look to all the other picture. It's smart, How? it uses AI to reevaluate and saves you tons of work. So, and then to stylize it, you can always go to color style lux and look for something that you like. Yep. Let's so, see. Jeremy, just a quick time check. We got about four more minutes before we announce the winner. Oh. Yeah, you keep going. We got about four minutes. So, so, so just trying to let everybody know that right now there's two contestants. We got Calvin and Claudia. So your chances of winning right now is 50-50. So hang tight. Make sure you stay until the very end. In the next five minutes, we're going to draw the name. And you have to respond. And you have to get in contact with us within the next uh, few minutes if we draw your name to make sure you win, all right? So, sorry so, to distract you, Jeremy. I'll one, get, no, that's okay. get back to one, yeah. la one last thing. Just do one last thing. It's like the portraiture. If you want to do more um, control in the skin tones, you can always go to color and go to orange. And because all skin tones are orange, and go to luminosity and saturation to play around with it. Mm. and get that perfect skin tone you want. Calvin and, says it looks great. Uh, voila, and that's done. I'm not even going to apply it, that's it. <laughs> so we could go out. I think it looks amazing. For what, how, how long did it take for me to do this? I would say if less than five minutes. Well, I, I will keep talking. Imagine if I'm not going to just focus on it. I think I could finish in like, what, one minute? Totally, totally, because it's just sliders. You literally open a folder, the picture and slide, 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 and a couple of check marks. Mm. That's it. Yep. So no masking, right. nothing. Okay, my portion is done. So I'm gonna um, stop right. sharing. Let's let's undo your share again. If you want to purchase the software on Amazon, the link is down below. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, if you if you want to buy it on. Luminar's website, which is skyline.com. There is a Memorial Day sale that's still going on for the next four days, 10 hours, one minute, 30 seconds. It's a great deal. If you don't win the giveaway, which we're gonna have in the next few minutes, you can still buy it on the website for $89. And actually less than $89, because normally the price is $89 for the software alone. Then you add the sky pack, there's one sky pack, there's another sky pack, and the total comes to, to be 133, but right now with the Memorial Day sale, 79 bucks. You own this for life with the upgrades as long as Lumina 4 is still the latest software. And of course, you have the 30 day money back guarantee and 24 seven support. So really good software. As professionals, we use it day in and day out. We highly recommend it. As someone that um, is not a professional, like an amateur photographer, I think you guys can benefit a lot from this as well because you can see how easy it is to take 
a simple photo and manipulate it to something that looks amazing. Well, the skill set required to yes. work with Numenor Four is not professional level, but the result of the image is professional level. So that's the cool thing about it. And also, if you are watching this video way after all this memorial sales, you can still try to um, put on the Pixel Stepper coupon code. Yes. There. So you still save exactly. up ten bucks. So basically, the software is eighty nine bucks. So you can still buy it for seventy nine. But yep. you just don't have those um, skies. Sky back. That's it. Yeah. So if you if you use uh, after this promotion to get to Luminar's website, go to pixelstablers.com forward slash Luminar, and when you add to cart, make sure you click right here. It says enter promotional code. Uh, enter Pixel Stabbers. You can put it e all in case. E i h e l s t a b b e l s. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Pixel Stabbers, just like it's spelled. And click apply. Right now, obviously, we can't apply it because Luminar is smart. I think last holiday sale, we were able to apply our code and save even ten dollars off a holiday special. But this year, it's even better. This time around, it's we can't use that code, but at the same time, you're getting two skin sky packs, so it's quite the deal. Mm -hmm. So it is eleven. Do we have any more contestants? We don't. So the only two contestants is Calvin Lee and Claudia. Quick check, Claudia. Are you still here? Are you still in the room, Calvin? Quick check. Are you here? Are you still in the room? Let's 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 make sure you guys are still here. So just comments below if you're still here, Claudia. We're calling mm -hmm. for you, Calvin. We're calling for you. Just go ahead and reply. Make sure you're still here. And while you are replying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new browser here and just Google search uh, random name picker. And this is just a free software we're gonna use. And this is a small web tool. What we do is we open it up, and we're just gonna enter our two names here, and we're gonna enter Calvin, and the next line we're gonna enter Claudia, and that's it. So, you guys, I hope you're still here. We're gonna go ahead and pick the random winner. Are you guys ready? Fifty, fifty. All right, Jeremy, give me a drum roll. The that's a All right. drum roll, oh, but it is what yes. it is. <laughs> Yes, and Claudia is also on YouTube. Thank you, Claudia, for commenting on YouTube as well. Woohoo! Claudia is on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel too. Then we love your support and we love you guys being here. So um, this is exciting. It's between Claudia and Calvin. I wish you. I wish we have two to offer, but we only have one. So unfortunately, there's only gonna be one winner. And I'm gonna click this random button right here that picks one of the two names. I wish you guys the best of luck. Copy Claudia fingers. says she's ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna throw Claudia's comment out there. She's ready. Calvin's ready. Calvin's been yeah, ready there. for the last thirty minutes. All right, guys, All right. I'm gonna click it down. Give, give me a countdown, Jeremy. Five, four, three, two, one. Click it. Calvin, wait, wait, wait. Is wait, this, no, no. Is it? Wait, yet. how does it work? I never used this before. Oh, so Claudia, yeah, the so winner. yeah, so Claudia, you are the winner, Calvin. So the reason why it says Calvin is stayed there is because my screen is lagging a little bit. Usually that screen goes Calvin, Claudia, Calvin, Claudia, Calvin, Claudia, and then it picks the winner. Um, sorry, Calvin, you didn't win. Congratulations, Claudia, you have won. Claudia, go ahead and email me. Uh, we are save money at pixelstabbers.com. Go ahead and email me right now, and we're gonna make sure we get your email, and we're gonna send you the code to activate Luminar Four. All right, and Calvin. Congratulations, Claudia. Yeah, congratulations, Claudia. You're gonna love this software. Uh, we're gonna stay here for the next uh, five to ten minutes. Make sure you email Save Money at PixelStabbers.com, Claudia. We're gonna keep waiting for your email before we go offline. That way, we make sure mm -hmm. we have your email so we can send you the code, and. Calvin, since you've been here for the whole time, you commented and you watched the video and you supported the video, we got a second runner prize for you. It's not Luminar 4, I'm sorry. It's Luminar 3, okay? It's an older version of Luminar. But here's the cool thing. When you are ready to upgrade, you can use uh, Luminar 3 serial number to upgrade. I think uh, if you search for a Luminar upgrade, there should be a link. Um, yeah, upgrading from Luminar, Upgrade from Luminar 3. 3. Yeah. yeah, and so what it does is I think it saves you a 
discount. So where this is uh, the link. So I think if you just go to uh, that's the manual. Let's see. Is it Skylum? dot com slash upgrade? Maybe is it the link just simple like that? No, it's not. Where is it's the upgrade? Never simple. Oh, here, 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 right here, right here. You see it? So if you go, oh, upgrade here. yeah. So even if you go to, um, just go to pixelstabbers dot com slash luminar, and then here once what so for Calvin, once you register with um, Luminar three key, go here and click upgrade here and sign in and then you get a special discount from the memorial day already so if you want to do it you should do it during the memorial day then use mm -hmm. the um, discount here right so it's going to be 54 dollars for you yeah enter your serial number and then just verify and click upgrade now the cool thing is once you click upgrade i think there's a place to enter a coupon code so when I you click that upgrade, work. <laughs> yes, yeah. When you go Try. there, click on the upgrade code, and then enter Pixel Stabbers. So I bet you, Calvin, you're gonna get Saving it for ten. Bucks. Yeah, even $44. ten dollars off that. <laughs> so Calvin, also email us, okay? So both of you guys email us right now at save money at pixelstabbers.com. I'm gonna make this really big so you can see. Um, and we're gonna stay here until we get your email because we want to make sure we close this out. So congratulations to Claudia. So we got the winner for Luminar Four is Claudia, and then the winner for Luminar. I spelled Luminar wrong. Luminar mm -hmm. Three. Uh, it's auto correction. Luminar Three is Calvin. So. I'm happy that you guys were able to come and I'm happy that we got two winners. This is exciting. Uh, I'm still waiting for your emails. So Jeremy, feel free to uh, mention or talk about the software or, or whatever you want. Let me prepare the email to send to Claudia once I get her response with the serial number. So I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to close out this box so they can see the email. I'll let you finish that first. Okay. Yeah, and Calvin, thank you for being a great sports. Calvin says, congratulations to Aww. Claudia. So, yeah, and congratulations to you, Calvin, too. So you got your own copy of hey. Luminar 3. You can upgrade for like $54 and probably even $44 if you use mm -hmm. the coupon code and it works. So it'll be good for both of you guys. So I'm waiting for you guys to email me. Claudia, uh, Calvin, both of you email me right I now so you. I can get you guys the key. I'm waiting for the email. Yep, nope. so waiting refreshing, for email. refreshing. I'm refreshing. <laughs> so if you guys so, sent the email, let me know so too. So for Kevin, in case yeah. you don't want to upgrade to Lumina Four, Lumina Three has some things that Lumina Four don't have, Ooh. and then some of the Lumina Three people kind of complain about that. So in Lumina Three, you can actually create your own module. So all the fun the, it has all the functions out there out let me when i say out there out there and you could basically customize how the interface you want in lumina 3 so you there are some couple um features that you're always use so you can set up your own manual bar rather than you know using the default and this is something that people can become complaining about lumina 4 because they can't do that anymore it only happened in lumina 3 so if you have your own workflow and you have special tool that you use i mean Honestly, the tool itself, besides the sky replacement and the portraiture, everything else works the same. It just the interface is different, and also got some few features. So just in case you don't want to upgrade, then that is what you can work with. I mean, are you? Oh, we got Claudia's email already. Claudia just sent the email. Cool, cool. We're waiting for it to come in. My email is a little bit slow too because we are live. Yes. Woohoo! We got Claudia's email. I'm gonna respond mm -hmm. to Claudia right now. Calvin, we're still waiting for your email. So, Cal Claudia, give me just one moment while I prepare the key for you. All you have to do is copy and paste. Why taking so long? You know my computer is super lag because we're streaming on Amazon <laughs> Live on YouTube, and I'm I'm hosting you to come into this stream too, Jeremy. Okay, okay, so okay. Okay, fine. Give my That's computer fine. a break. <laughs> okay. 
won't complain too much anymore. Yeah, okay? exactly. So to tell, feel free to talk a little bit more about how. Um, let's see. Let's see how Lumina Four has changed your workflow. Uh, well, you you can see on the portrait part, just on the skin retouching part, that saved a lot of time. I mean, as just a puck in Photoshop, um, it allowed me to do a whole bunch more with with the sky. Basically, uh, the sky replacement pays a big part because um, a lot of people need to capture the sky. When if you let's say you go out shooting a portrait, right, and during daytime and, and whatnot, and you try to get the skies too, but you probably don't get the same exposure from the subject and the sky at the same time. So either you use double exposure, basically expose for the sky and using a flash or any kind of lighting to relit your subject, then you can able to get both the, the subject and the sky, uh, you know, um, in that white exposure. But, um, you know, that takes a lot of time and also, you know, kind of fussing around. So if you don't want to do that and basically focus on getting the subject in exposure, and you overexpose or bow out the sky, well, that's fine now because we can always replace this guy in Numenor 4 and they save you a lot of time. And also the skies probably look more amazing than what you shot in the sky anyway. So most of the time you shoot the sky is just all blue. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what area you are. I mean, we're in San Francisco in Bay Area. I mean, if you go shoot somewhere near Golden Gate, you don't see much of clouds i mean <laughs> unless the sun set out you got a little good lighting but other than that you got playing sky so you probably want to replace this guy anyway now the cool thing about replacing this guy a lot of people don't know about is that because of numen 4 uh replacing sky has the relighting tools meaning that you're actually reshaping lighting in your picture because if you think about it in photography with capturing light Where's the light coming from? From the sun. Where's the sun? The sky. So if you replace the sky, you mean you're actually replacing lighting in your picture. You're changing a lot in your pictures. So just little tiny tool, AI sky replacement, it helped you transform your photo in so many different levels. Am I right, David? Are you done? <laughs> yes, yes. And we got two comments to um, add here, Edgar. Thanks for being a great sport. Oh. Thanks for joining in the live stream. And Edgar says, congratulations to Claudia. And we you got have one more comment. Friend. And we got a comment from our friend, Kenji. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna read that out while I send this email to Claudia. Kenji said, I'm glad I get to catch another live show. You always seem to broadcast in the middle of the night. I'm in the US, uh, US well. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually in um, California, West Coast. So um, I hope it's not too late for you though, over there in Kenji. But, you know, we work in the daytime, so we broadcast at the nighttime, right? So but eventually, if we get lost of the job, then we will <laughs> broadcast in the daytime too. <laughs> Thank you for catching up. Hope yep, you enjoyed so Claudia, the I sent you the email and we're waiting for Calvin's email. And Calvin Calvin's says sent just... an email already. Oh, just yeah. refresh. Cool, cool. Email sent. Yep, I got Calvin's email too. So Claudia, mm -hmm. I responded. Claudia, can you also respond to the chat? Just to make sure you got you got it as well. So Claudia, when you get a chance, make sure you check your email. Calvin, I'm sending your Luminar 3 key right now. <laughs> I'm so glad people get to play with Luminar because I have fun with it. I hope you do too. You're going to have so much fun with it, Claudia. Trust me, you will. Especially with the sky replacement. You will transform your way you shoot photos because you know what you can do in pose now. <laughs> Kenji just sent a comment. Oh wow, it's 2 a.m. Another light out. Cool. <laughs> what are you doing so late up, Kenji? Please don't tell me you're waiting for us to broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Claudia Yay, got Claudia it! Got it. <laughs> thank, thank you, Claudia, for being our very first giveaway winner on Pixel Stabbers and for celebrating us. 
reaching 2,000 subscribers. So we're excited to be able to give away. We hope to give out more. In fact, let's just do an, Jeremy, you want to do another giveaway tomorrow? Let's do another giveaway tomorrow on yeah. Pizza Stabber for another Luminar 4 key because it feels great to do giveaways and we're happy to see people use the software because it's cheap. I mean, it's not expensive, but sometimes people just don't, they have other things to spend money on, but we want you guys to enjoy this software. So we want to give it to you guys. So Claudia, congratulations. She's so excited. We're yeah. excited. Yeah, and Claudia, uh, if you want to understand more about Numina, we have other videos in our channels that talks about it. Also, you, we do we have questions about the Numina 4. Drop a message. Uh, I will answer your questions as well, okay? All right. How are we doing, David? I'm sending the email to Calvin. I'm making. I'm gonna make sure that Calvin gets the email. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. My computer is just really, really slow. Um, it's just bogged down and I, I do want to make sure you guys both get the email at least so that we're communicating that way for example if you have problems downloading the software which you shouldn't because you can just go to Luminar 4 and uh, basically you, you go, both of you guys go to skylab.com make an account and then in the account say that you already have the software and you should be able to enter your key and the software should work so Claudia you should do the same for um, Calvin, when you do that, it will allow you to register Luminar 3 and then you can go to the upgrade, like we said, at pixelsabbers.com forward slash Luminar and then look at the upgrade link and be able to upgrade as well. So both of you guys for, should for Claudia, have, you're sending yeah. her the key, right? The serial yes. numbers? Yeah. So I think so all she have to do is download the trial version and then uh, once installed it, they just have to put in the serial number on there and override the trial. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true too. Yeah, either way you can do it. I think that's probably the easiest way, Claudia. Just download the trial as like any user and then like Jeremy says, just enter, I, I click the button that says I have a serial number and enter mm -hmm. it in. So okay, um, it looks Calvin, like both uh, Calvin's email also went out. So hopefully, did you get an email yet, Calvin? Yeah, Calvin, did you get our email? Dude, I need to get a new computer. This is this is embarrassing. <laughs> Actually, next time I should just use my laptop. I should have used my laptop. Dang it! Like, why am I trying to use this computer that's bogged down from live streaming? I should just use my laptop and manage all this on my laptop. Next time, we're learning, guys. This is pain point because we never did a giveaway before. It's fun. <laughs> it's exciting. But wow, there's a lot to figure it out. <laughs> so thanks for tolerating <laughs> us as we try to figure this out. Okay. So we're just going to wait another few minutes here to make sure Calvin responds back to me. So I, I know he's got the, the key. Or he can either respond back or he can just comment back in the if, YouTube chat. Yeah. Well, if anyone watching this video later and then they have questions about um, the software, do drop a comment and um, we either answer your questions in the comments or we probably make another video to explain your questions. Mm -hmm. So. The more questions you ask, the more video will come. Yeah. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're excited to make videos. We, we love videos. Um, we love sharing our knowledge and we love, love helping other photographers. Yeah. I love to share. Yeah. And you know, so, Jeremy... Just, uh, yes. Yeah. Go, go ahead, you said. What oh, you saying? Yeah, I just want to say Jeremy is a, a photographer with 15 years experience shooting weddings. And I am a photographer of 10 years wedding photography. So together we have about 25 years of collective knowledge that we would love to share. Uh, I don't know about Jeremy himself, but I've made a lot of mistakes as I learned how to become a photographer, as I built my business out. So I'm happy to share everything if it saves you time and avoids you guys from making the same mistakes. I bet I make more mistakes than you do. Maybe. Uh, I, I hope you didn't. But again, we would love to share I don't share know why everything. we think it's a competition. It's not even fun to, to compete. I feel better than you, Jeremy. <laughs> We're always competing. That's why we call ourselves pizza stabbers. Like, oh okay, wait, who, who's, who's better at this? At failing? Oh, shoot, I failed way better than you, Jeremy. <laughs> what, what you got? What you got? Right, at my first wedding, I couldn't get the first uh, Brian groom walking down the aisle because I was too busy shooting on the side of the aisle. Then I went behind them and tried to run around them, but they were too big, so I couldn't get past them down the aisle. So I missed the shot. What? You think you did worse than that? Well, I fallen my memory card after the oh. wedding. Oh, that? ouch! Beat that. <laughs> that's that's painful. That 
Oh. But the I'll... good thing is only one card. I got the other five cards still safe, so. <laughs> That's good. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, memory card, dude. I, I always, I always want to err on the safe side. I don't know if it's safe or not, but for me, I get two... I always shoot with a camera that has dual memory card. Never will I shoot in a professional event that has... Um, that with a camera that has only one memory card because it's just suicide in my opinion. So I shoot with a camera that has two memory cards. I make sure both memory cards are bigger than I need, like 256 gigabyte big. So I can shoot the whole day, whether it's a wedding or like a super long event, the whole day I never need to change memory card. And I set it up so that every time I take one picture, it writes to both memory cards. So that's my strategy. I'm being you, safe. You know, at one point I was testing out Sony's new NDX cameras. Yeah. I actually carry three camera with me. Wow. So, so actually no, case. I have five camera, five cameras. Not with me, but I have two spare cameras. So, I mean, the dual memory card doesn't mean nothing to me because I got free camera. <laughs> I got free memory cards already. So you can so. have dual memory card in each of the three cameras. But anyway, that's that's a topic anyway, for another discussion. Yeah. So let's say oh, Calvin's, got it. Calvin's got the email. Uh, right, and then we got a couple, couple other questions real quick here. So Edgar says, what time are you guys uh, planning to broadcast tomorrow? That's a very good question, Jeremy. What time are you going to wake up? <laughs> you want to do it in the morning or do it at night? I think so, because you know, every time we schedule for something in the afternoon, it, ends, it starts to become late afternoon, and then we run into technical problem, and it becomes like midnight. <laughs> tomorrow Sunday. Uh, yeah. So you can excuse me, I got an infant, so I can't sleep that well at night, and so I sleep more in the daytime. <laughs> so uh, how about... Somewhere after 1 p.m. I'm good. 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's plan for 1 p.m. PST. How's okay. that sound, Jeremy? Okay, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna stream again 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Uh, check us out on youtubecom slash pixelstablish. We're also mm -hmm. on Amazon Live under Utechpia. That's our mm -hmm. channel there, and also on our Facebook. If you guys aren't uh, members of our Facebook page. Uh, what are you guys waiting for? Our Facebook page is also Pixel Stabbers too. It's at facebook.com forward slash Pixel Stabber. Yeah, come check us out on Facebook and that way you, you um, support us there and we, every time we have a, a live stream, we always announce it there so you guys can follow us and be part of the stream. We plan to have a lot of giveaway. Right now, unfortunately, our channel is not generating much money. Uh, none of our websites are generating money, but once we start the revenue coming in, we want to give back to the community. We want to have a giveaway. Mm -hmm. We want to build a community where people are happy to be here and they get value out of it and we get value by providing value. So help us help you guys make a great community. Cool. So yeah. I guess that's wrap up tonight. It and does. we will see you guys again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yeah. And we are oh. giving away another one. Oh. We have one last question from Kenji. Let's answer this question before we wrap it up. Let me let me move okay. it so that it's easy yeah, to read. Yeah, I can't read. see it. It's like you can't read. I'll read sagging. it. Uh, I'll move this down here so it's easy to read. So, I watched some of your videos from earlier today and you said bring a backup body. Do you wear two cameras or you keep one in your car? Jeremy. I carry two cameras and keep one in the car, so I do both. How's that? <laughs> I do the same thing. I'm like a cowboy. I got two on the side here, holster, boom, boom, boom. And that way I have a 24-70 in one and 70 to 200 in another one. Or if I'm shooting prime, I'm shooting a 35 and an 85. So I have a RX-1, Sony RX-1. That, that, at one time I used that as a backup camera, but kid you not, I kid you not, that, that camera is only have a 35 f2 lens on it, but at one wedding, I used that that camera. I I think that's the best picture I ever took for every wedding because it limited me with only one lens and being more creative and more artistic in this case. So uh, while if I have my other two cameras has like 2470 and 7200 there, all I get is typical pictures, like typical coverage pictures. But with a 35 f2 um, fixed lens, small, tiny camera, I could roam around the whole show and just um, doing creative things. So. 
at some point that I can actually carry that camera with me rather than just put it in the car. So I have that's why I said free camera with me. Remember? Yeah, that was it. Yep. And, and I then got, I got last picture from the twenty four seventy. That twenty four seventy only used for like group pictures or if you know the mom, the bride want to get some picture with aunties, and I use that as a on camera flash on it. But all the artistic picture is from not the twenty four seventy or the seventy two hundred. Never. Anyway, that got that got kind of off topic. <laughs> no worries. Sorry. That was a good question. A uh, good answer too. And the last comment we here have is um, Calvin and. He says, thank you guys, and we You're thank welcome, you, Captain. as well as everyone else who's joined the live stream and listened in, and we hope you guys have a great night. Thank you again <laughs> for watching. Until next thank time, we will see you guys next time. Till tomorrow. All right, yeah, tomorrow at 1 p.m. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, we're having another giveaway. So come join yes. us. We're signing out, and we're going to sign out in three, two, one, and out. Uh, and uh, actually, I'm not sure.